Bum, bum, bum. Hi guys, Glory Segral here again, and I have one that um, has been a an issue for quite a while in the past, and we um, I finally, as far as I can tell, have got a good solution for it now. Um, yeah, we got a new League of Legends installer. Uh, I've made both a Lutris install script and a non-Lutris install script. The non-Lutris install script uses whatever version of Wine is installed on your system. Preferably, you should have Wine staging 2.8. I would say 18 or higher because that's the newest one. Um, 16 might work, but I just tested it with 18. It works fine. Uh, Gallium 9 works with it as well. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, let me bring up, once again, my GitHub. And we'll bring it over here. So... Here's my GitHub, Glorious Egg Roll, slash, and then this one is League of Legends dash Linux. And my cat is down here bugging me. Dude, what you want? What you want? You picked the worst time here. Okay, so anyway, refresh this page. So we've got an install script and an uninstall script in the registry file for it. What you're going to want to do um, first is if you want to do it through Lutris, you bring up the Lutris website, and I have that over here too. I thought I had it up here. Games. League of Legends. There it is. Okay, so let's bring that over here too. So here's the Lutris website. We'll go ahead and um, do that one first. And let me remove my current Lutris League of Legends folder there. Okay, so here's your Lutris here. Um, what you would do is you go to Lutris.net, click Game, search for League of Legends, you'll see my script that pops up here. And if you're in Chromium, you can hit Install and hit Open XDG Open. Um, if you don't have XDG Open installed on your system, Chrome usually asks for it for my system. I don't know how it is on other ones, but you can open with XDG Open. If you're using Firefox or something like that that doesn't support it, and you already have Lutris installed, instead what you can do is you can open up a terminal. I'm bringing up a clean terminal here. Zoom in here and we'll do Lutris League of Legends Windows. There it goes. Alright, so it'll start this installer. Let it do its thing here. And there's a train. Let this thing go ahead and finish. And once this um, once this downloads, it'll go through these little steps here, and um, eventually it'll launch the League of Legends installer. Just go ahead and run the quick installer, and then at the end it'll ask you if you want to launch the game. Uncheck that box, because we don't want to launch it yet. Let it do this thing. all that. Now I did I did do testing. Um, I do have the Vega card now. I'm actually running the Vega card right now. I have a Vega 64 in here. Um, I have tested it on both DirectX 9. Oh, I used it. I tested on DirectX 9 on both the 1080 and the Vega. Um, DirectX 9 I tested OpenGL and I tested Gallium 9. Um, best results Vega 64 with the Gallium 9. For the highest frame rates, I had the I had the highest frame rates on Gallium Nine. Um, okay, so here's the part I was talking about. I'll jump into the the frame rates more in a bit. Here's the part I was talking about. You hit next, agree to the terms. Hit next, let it do its install, and uncheck this box. You don't want to launch it just yet, so uncheck it. Hit finished. Let it do this. And there it goes. Okay, so now, if you want to, um, you can just go ahead and launch the game. And that should be it. Um, this will come up in a minute here, and it'll start installing the game. And I'll show you how to um, copy the game over if you already have an install. I don't know if I have it on my spare drive or not. Let me see. Storage, games... MOBAs, oh, no, I don't have it on here. I have it in my other folder. But I didn't know if I had a spare copy on my backup drive. OK, 
Okay, so when you first launch it, it'll go through this, and you'll have to wait for it to finish doing this thing. My internet's been really bad lately, so you'll have to pardon me on that. Come on. Man, this thing is crawling today. What in the world? Comcast has been uh, really screwy with me lately. I've had several people come out here and I've, it's, it's take, this is part of the reason I haven't done videos in a while because it takes me forever to upload anything and I haven't been streaming because of it either. Like, <laughs> I'm paying for 150 down and like 20 up and I'm getting I'm getting the download speed 100 I usually get around like 175 180 down but then my upload speed is literally like 1.5 2.2 on a good day megabytes yeah so that's what I'm dealing with with Comcast right now they've been <laughs> they've already credited my account but <laughs> it's not enough they had uh, they credited me for two tech visits where the techs weren't able to do anything, and then they credited me for uh, missed appointment twice, and then they credited me ten dollars for degraded services. Ten dollars. This has been going on. This this issue has been going on on and off since October of last year. So um, yeah, that's that's all kinds of fun. You know what? This is taking forever with my internet for some ungodly unknown reason. So. Um, You'll have better luck once it's finished. Let me go ahead and close this out for now. And instead, I'm going to copy mine over since I already have it installed. We're going to have games. I'm sorry if you can hear my roommate. She's going crazy with her freaking dogs. Okay, so right here is my folder. Um, normally, this would be located in, for example, like C your C drive Riot Games. It's never, it's hardly ever in the program files unless you specifically know where you installed it. By default, it installs to C Riot Games League of Legends. So we're just gonna copy this whole Riot Games folder. You can copy it, you can cut it. Cut it, if you hit cut, it'll move it. If you copy it, it'll leave a copy here and then put another copy wherever you put it. So where you're gonna wanna go is you're gonna wanna go to home and you're gonna wanna go to games and you'll see League of Legends and you go to drive C. Whatever one's here, you can actually you can paste over it, but um, it's quicker if you actually just delete it. Okay, and then we'll paste the new one in there. All right, and then we'll go ahead and hit play here. Wait for it to do its thing again. All right, there we go, that'll load. Let me go ahead and log in here. And the whole launcher works perfectly fine. Everything in the launcher functions properly and you can change whatever you want, disable whatever you want. Um, it all works really, really well. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and hit play. We'll go to a training mission. Add bot, uh, and we'll start game. Now we no longer have the freezing issue. Remember how it would randomly freeze while, um, sometimes it would randomly freeze while you were at character select. It doesn't do that anymore. Uh, is my veil. <laughs> sometimes it would freeze when it closed out the client. It doesn't do that anymore. Or sometimes it would freeze when you uh, tabbed out doesn't do that anymore. Like all of it works. It's so great. <laughs> it's so great. All right. So this is by default running in DirectX 9. Let me go ahead and talk about this. I tested three modes on two different cards. I have a GTX 1080 and I have a, a um, AMD RX Vega 64. I tested OpenGL and DirectX on both of them. Uh, on the Vega 64, I also tested Gallium 9. Of all three of them, DirectX, um, between OpenGL and DirectX, DirectX worked much better, had better frame rates. On top of that, um, Into the night. on top of that, the OpenGL implementation in League of Legends 
is OpenGL 1.5, um, and that is from 2003. They have not up. <laughs> they haven't updated the OpenGL implementation in League of Legends in a very, very, very long time. Um, the article that I pulled that from was from January 2017 and it was from one of the riot engineering blogs so it's a fairly recent article and they said they said they're supposed to be updating it eventually but like well, he said he said it'll change soon but it hasn't changed yet so um, the other thing the other problem is when you're running OpenGL the frame rates is, all, is a lot lower for sure and also the um, for AMD cards your text text is going to render all blocky like uh, if you hover over here instead of being able to read all of this it just renders super blocky I don't know what the deal is but uh, it's been a constant issue that is uh, hasn't been solved but regardless the frame rates are crap anyway so you don't want to run OpenGL like I said the implementation is old outdated and it's not very good um, you'll have much better luck running um, DirectX 9 which is what the prefix is set to by default but anyway, um, yeah, so this runs perfectly fine. Uh, if you come across the frame the frame rate degradation problem that we've had in the past, I have not run across it, but I haven't really played it long enough to, um, to tell you for sure whether it's there or not. But what, basically what it is is as you play over time, uh, the performance of the game seems to degrade to the, to where, the point where the FPS drops a little bit more. Um, there is a way that you can prevent that. What you do is you go to your options and you go to video and you're going to want to change the frame rate cap and put it either at like 60 or 80. Even if you have a 120 or 144 hertz monitor, just stick it at 60 or 80. Um, I have a buddy who has like a 74 hertz monitor. If um, he, can, he can get away with sticking it to 80, but um, keep it between one of those two. I just have it uncapped so I can show the, the current frame rate. From the darkness. All right, so let me go ahead and get out of here. Leave game. Now, and like I said, if you're running AMD, what you're going to want to do is right-click it, hit configure, and oh, excuse me, um, oh, it's still running. Let's go ahead and close it out. Right-click it, hit Wine configuration. And go over to the staging tab, and you're going to check. Ga oh, you're going to want Gallium 9. Um, I have my system. You hit configure here. Change the runner to, if you have Gallium, like a system wide Gallium 9 install for Wine, change it to your system build so that you can have Gallium 9. You don't have to worry about this if you haven't installed Gallium 9 on your system or anything. Um, Lutris does not have any Wine Gallium 9 runners, so you'll have to install it system wide, unfortunately. Unless you want to make your own wrapper for it. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hit configure then, and then you go to runner options, make sure that's done, right click again, hit wine configuration. And this is only for AMD users. Sorry Nvidia, but you guys use proprietary drivers, so it does not work with Gallium 9. So don't listen to any of this. Um, but yeah, AMD users, go down here, click enable Gallium 9 for better D3.9 performance, hit OK, and hit play again. I gave him a launch up in a minute here. Do do. All right, let's go ahead and type our password in here again. Come on. There we go. All right, hit play, training, practice, confirm, and start the game. Like I said, the launcher works perfect now. Like, there's no freezes whatsoever. There's no parts that aren't loading. It's it's nice to finally just be able to normally play the game how it's supposed to be played. <laughs> All right, come on. Get 
something to drink while we're waiting here. All right. Here we go. All right. Now, as you can tell, uh, if if you look at the FPS at the front, it's a little bit higher. I would say roughly it's about 40 FPS higher on average. Um, like I said, it's it's a big boost when you use Gallium Nine. Before, it, I mean, it got up to like the 160, 170s, but then it would drop to like the 120, 130s. Here, it doesn't drop very much. It goes 160. I've seen it hit out as far as like 220 before, and it's averaging a, like at least 30 to 40 higher right now. This way. But yeah, um, so yeah, this works. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. I just wanted to show you guys the frame rate difference there. Wait for this to come back up. It'll come up in a minute here. It likes to take its time. There it goes. Keep on spinning, keep on spinning, keep on spinning. So yeah, and um, right after this is done, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and exit out of this. And for those of you who do not like using Lutris, I got something for you too. Go ahead and clear this. We've already covered Lutris, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. Now, for those who don't like Lutris, I have an install and an uninstall script. What this install script does is it does the same thing my Warframe script does. It goes through, it creates your prefix for you. It creates, uh, adds all the, the wine tricks that you need for your prefix, uh, the registry keys that you need, and the DLL overrides for that. Um, it downloads the League of Legends installer for you and it launches it. Um, it creates it creates the, um, the bin script for you so you can launch the game from a terminal, from any terminal, from any folder. Um, it creates your desktop shortcut and your application shortcut so you'll be able to go up here and go to applications and then go to games and it'll be listed down here and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay and yeah let's um, let's go ahead and do that. So what you would do is you would go to this web this github here, clone or download, download the zip and then extract it somewhere and in my case, downloads, oh, maybe I didn't have it downloaded anymore. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clone it here. Um, this is another easy way if you're just used to doing it in terminal. Whoops, git clone. I wonder if I can zoom this in for anybody that can't see it. That's not the right URL. Com slash Vegas egg roll slash um what was it League of Legends Linux dot git. Okay. Okay, so basically this folder would be the same as if you downloaded it from the website and then extracted it. Right, so then you're going to want to cd into that folder, and then you're going to want to uh, chmod ax install.sh. Okay, and then you would do dot slash install. Okay, and it'll go through all the pr the um, things that need you need to do. It prepares everything for you. Now, before you run the script, please just make sure you have wine installed. Well, wine staging. You're going to want wine staging for better performance. Um, and obviously a wine gallium 9 if you have an AMD card. Um, and make sure you're, you have wine tricks installed. You're going to want wine tricks. 
um, w get you'll need w get and and then any other wine prefix or um, any other wine dependencies most of those dependencies dependencies get installed when you install those when you install the packages so it shouldn't be an issue All right, there's this. We'll go through this again. I agree. Next. Do not launch. Uncheck that again. Hit finish. Okay, and here's the exact bottom part of the script where it'll ask you a couple questions about shortcuts. Obviously, it needs access to the folders to be able to place the shortcuts in, so it'll ask you for your root passwords. So you go ahead and do that. Uh, would it like a menu shortcut? Yes, I would like. Would you like a desktop shortcut? Yes, I would like. Um, okay, so installation's complete. Now, I have desktop shortcuts turned off on my system, but um, what you can do, well, for me, I would just go up here, and I would go to Applications, Games, League of Legends. And there it goes, the exact same thing. It's already created the prefix for you, it's already got the game set up for you. All you gotta do is just answer, answer the two questions at the end of the, um, the install, and you're good to go. Oh, see, now my internet wants to kick in. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It was going to take about eight minutes before I guess my internet was having a hiccup or something. That's fun. So we'll let it go through this thing. Dum -bum -bum. I need to find some, some new music. Um, I haven't been putting music in my videos lately because the last few times that I've used no copyright music, um, I've gotten copyright strikes, and then I've had to redo the video. So I'm sorry that it's like really awkward, quiet silence. But at least my microphone sounds good, <laughs> um, even when I mean when it's not picking up trains and dogs and my roommates, you know, all that fun stuff. But hopefully, Comcast will finish um, fixing my internet sometime this month. Maybe, maybe sometime this month. And uh, once I get my upload back, you know, up to speed, I'll be able to stream regularly again, like I have been. Up until then, I'll just I'll try to fork out these these YouTube videos. Um, it's just uploading them is <laughs> very very slow. And I didn't realize until I started making this video, but I have my follow alerts up from Twitch, so you guys can ignore that. Okay, so yeah, we're launching the game here. And it works the exact same way. Fresh install, obviously. Except... Uh, yeah, everything is working here. in here. All right, and there you go. So now that's all set up. Oh my gosh. All right, so yeah, anyway, it's working. It's good to go. We'll go ahead and close this out now. And uh, yeah. That's all I got, guys. It runs great. Um, it's a very st simple click install now. Uh, hopefully it helps some people out. Like I said, just make sure you have Wine Staging or Wine Gallium 9 installed for uh, if you're not going to use Lutris. Lutris installs a wine bottle, so um, it's very, very easy through Lutris. But this way, even if it's not through Lutris, it's still pretty easy. Uh, yeah. If you, guys, if you guys like it, if it helps you out, let me know. Hopefully this solves the plague of League of Legends problems that have been going on the last several months regarding 
Should I have these DLLs on? Should I have these DLLs overrided? Should I not have these? Do I need to add these? Do I need to remove these? It's, trust me, it's been a hassle. I spent the entire uh, Columbus Day weekend trying to figure out why the client was freezing. And I finally figured it out and got everything set up and then made the scripts, made the Lutris installer, made the YouTube video. So I hope it helps you out. Um, that's all I got. Thanks, guys.